Hello everyone, my name is Divakar Prakash Garg, an intern at UB Advocate under Advocate Jeevan Prakash, Advocate on Record, Supreme Court of India. I will be explaining you about what is restitution of conjugal rights. Marriage is a sacred institution and it is the duty of both husband and wife to cohabitate and fulfill the marital obligations towards each other. However, in some cases, one spouse may refuse to live with the other any valid reason leading to marital discord or separation. This is where the legal remedy of restitution of conjugal rights right, come into play. Restitution of conjugal rights is a legal remedy available under Hindu Marriage Act 1955. In India, where, an, where one spouse can file a petition seeking a court order to direct the other spouse to resume cohabitation with him. Section 9 of the Act provides for the remedy stating that when either the husband or the wife without reasonable excuse withdraw from the society of the other, the grief party may approach to court for a decree of restitution of conjugal rights. To file a petition for restitution of conjugal rights, the petition must provide evidence of marriage, evidence of the refusal of cohabitation by the other spouse and evidence of the willingness of the petitioner to resume cohabitation. The court will then issue a decree directing the respondent to resume cohabitation with the petitioner. However, it is important to note that this remedy is not an absolute remedy or right and can be denied by the court if the refusal of cohabit by the respondent was justified. The court without any force either spouse to engage to sexual activity if they don't wish to do so. Now I will I will be telling you about a case. The case name is Saroj Rani vs Sudarshan Kumar Chand, 1984. The Supreme Court of India held that the remedy of restitution of conjugal rights should be exercised sparingly, and only after the court is just satisfied that the petitioner is willing to fulfill his or her marital obligation towards the respondent. The court also held that if respondent has reasonable grounds for refusing the cohabit, such as cruelty or adultery, the court should not grant a decree of restitution of conjugal rights. In recent times, the remedy of restitution of conjugal rights has been criticized by some as it goes against the principle of individual auto autonomy and personal liberty. liberty. However, it still remains a part of the legal framework in India and is available as a remedy to spouse who seeks to save them. In conclusion, restitution of conjugal right is an important legal remedy available to spouse in India, but it should be exercised with caution and the court should take into account that facts and circumstances of each case before granting the decree. Thank you.